Ladies and gentlemen, introducing this Elgato CamLink 4K. This magical little device transforms your DSLR or mirrorless camera into the ultimate webcam for streaming, video conferencing, and more. Just got this in, we're gonna unbox this thing, and I'm gonna utilize this uh, on another camera that I have in my setup, uh, but I'm going to utilize it for DSLR cameras as well as a GoPro camera, and go through a series of how I can use this Elgato CamLink 4K in all of those things. So whether you're uh, a gamer, a culinary showman, uh, the voice of the next, you know, big podcast, this CamLink 4K, as I unbox it and show you what you get inside of the box, this CamLink 4K is gonna help you do all of those things and with tons of stunning detail in 1080p at 60 frame rates per second, or even 4K at 30 frames per second. So um, you're gonna be, uh, what we say is uh, cooking with gas. And here's the thing, look at how small this thing is. You know, generally what you're gonna do is this is gonna go into your computer into a USB-A uh, input and you're gonna take the HDMI cable uh, from your uh, DSLR camera and you're gonna, the HDMI cable is gonna go into this right here and boom, uh, you're going to be uh, streaming in no time. If you're getting a really cool sticker from Elgato for your laptop or uh, for whatever else, and this is it. This is what you're getting in uh, the box. Now this cable right here, is an extension, right? So you can take your HDMI cable, your and uh, you're gonna be able to extend it. So this um, goes in here, and you're gonna be able to go into the back uh, uh, of your computer into a USB-A, but your HDMI, it's not an HDMI extender, but it's definitely a good quality extension that's gonna allow for the transfer of all of this uh, from off of your camera and the video into your computer. How to hook it up with your computer, more specifically for a uh, GoPro uh, Hero 11 Creator Edition, which comes with a, uh, a media mod. And the reason why we're gonna show you the media mod and why this is important when you hook it up uh, with your Elgato CamLink 4K is that uh, this, you know, your, your regularly traditional uh, GoPro camera uh, does not uh, come with this, but if you get this media mod, which does come with the Creator Edition, you basically pop off this side of this and it goes into this and you're able to use HDMI out right here as well as uh, be able to get a powered source in there as well. So I'm gonna pop this thing back in and be able to show you how to get this set up uh, uh, really quickly on how to do this. One thing I will say, um, with the Creator Edition, you do get uh, this little deal. It's not a gimbal, but it's a good handle and it does uh, allow you to hit record and do those things. It also has uh, you know, rechargeable uh, options here. You plug in here uh, that will allow you to charge it by going into this and having it hooked in. So it's a nice thing to have. Uh, but you can use another uh, sort of rechargeable uh, battery and be able to go out of that like I do here with a uh, USB-A uh, out of the rechargeable uh, uh, device and actually use it here. Now, is that as nice and clean as, um, as having uh, this, not really, uh, but it did come with the Creator Edition, but in case you do not have that, uh, deal and you just want the mod here and not have this, uh, this is an option uh, to you to be able to use. So um, the one thing you're gonna need to do, and I'm gonna switch over to this camera here, which allows me to show you uh, sort of a behind the scenes of how I have this hooked up. I, I basically use a HDMI to micro HDMI. It's not a mini HDMI, it is a micro HDMI uh, that plugs into the GoPro camera. So here is that micro HDMI and you wanna pop that in, not into the center one, but into the top one. So this is your HDMI out. And so now you're seeing the way I'm hooking it up and you're seeing the, uh, the Elgato 4K. So when you don't have anything going into 
the uh, Cam Link uh, 4K, that's the screen that you'll get. So you know your computer is recognizing it um, as something and it's just sort of waiting for that, that video data to, uh, to come. So I've got this cable that is plugged into the Cam Link, which is going into my uh, Mac Mini. And so here you go. I would suggest that because of this battery, Sometimes, it, you know, 4K uh, video and all of this other stuff, this, you know, kind of takes up a lot of battery power to have that backup battery if you're going to be using it for a good amount of time. Um, but basically, you put this into, and of course, it is HDMI, but it is micro HDMI. So it's kind of small and it's kind of weird to get it in there, but you get it in there like so. And of course, if you've got uh, something you want to, you know, get it hooked up to, to where it's more of a handle, or if it's like a little gorilla pod or something you want to strap it to as a, as a particular camera, you could do that as well. Um, but you know that there's two buttons basically on the GoPro. There's this one right here, and then there's this one right here. Now the way to, the way that it's going to be is, you know, initially it won't give you a clean HDMI signal. It'll give you um, something that is going to have. Um, you know, data on the screen. And so you'll need to know that when you are going through the stuff on the screen, this will move it in the menu and this will select it in the menu. And I'll, to I'll show you here uh, really quickly why that's important. So I'm gonna power this, uh, power this on and you're gonna see this powered on. And you can see that the GoPro is going, hey, uh, uh, this is connecting here. And you can see the GoPro logo uh, as, this is, uh, as this is connecting. And fairly shortly, you're gonna see uh, this menu. Now this is, this is why it's important for you to realize I'm gonna move uh, this here on the screen at the top right now, it's just showing you the media that you've got. But if I hit this, it's gonna move that top all the way over to this. And this is saying, hey, I wanna select the camera. And then you're gonna hit the top, and I hit the top, and boom, there I am. Now I'm moving it around. Look how, look, look it's nice little, as you can see, it's a nice little behind the scenes look of how the GoPro uh, Hero 11 looks as sort of a behind the scenes. Well, like I said before, on the screen, you were seeing that stuff. It's not clean HDMI. You're seeing activity 24, all of that. But if you hit this button along the bottom and, and select it until it goes to that little, looks like an eye crossed out right there. And then I hit the top, boom. Now we're looking at clean HDMI from the GoPro Hero 11, the creator edition and it's coming out with a micro HDMI cable, and it's going into the CamLink 4K into your computer. And as you can see, it looks it looks great. I mean, I think personally, the way the, this this looks good as if, if you wanna use it as like an overhead camera, I'm, I'm kind of going overhead on my existing overhead, but you can kind of see the way this looks, right? But I kind of like it as a side camera if I'm showing somebody my teleprompter setup or I'm showing them how I how I set up, you know, maybe how I how I use a switcher in some instances, how I use my Rodecaster Pro, how I would, you know, how I have my screen set up for when I'm doing videos, I could do it like that. Because as a actual webcam, I'm not sure it looks great. I think it's usable but you know the lighting i have set for my existing camera as you can see about in the bottom right hand side down here um and so i look kind of like i've been in the tanning bed too long um because of the lighting and what the way i have the lighting set up in the studio versus what i'm using right here which is a sony a6100 in my main camera which is behind my my teleprompter when I'm using that for any sort of virtual presentation. So there you go, that's how we set that up. And in case you're wondering, you look in the bottom here, this screen will say HDMI when you are connected with your HDMI cable on your on your GoPro as well. So anyway, I hope this, uh, this video helps you. This is how you would set up the CamLink 4K from Elgato using a, a GoPro Hero 11. And I would assume in uh, you know, previous editions of, of GoPros, this would also uh, work for you. And I hope this video helps you.